smoke. Man, it's your boy, artist. Air the gap too deep. Are you Milan? Here, girl, Flamey G. But it's Auntie Pig. Or Lou, Ebony, aka Ebony, with an I. I'm from the Big Head Radio Show, and I'm with the King Teeth Network, huh? That's good. It sounds like it. That's that vibe. All right, bet. All right, that's a go. You can take your headphones. Okay. And then camera's rolling. You ready? It's the King Teeth Network, and we are back with another amazing interview. I got my boy Kent in the building. And y'all know somebody's too hotty back there because he even set it up. Um, but I got my boy Kent in the building, man. Straight out of PA. Yeah. Uh, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm in a much better space. That's good. That's yeah. good. We honestly didn't know you was in a bad space. Royal family, bear with us. We're going to yeah. learn him today. All right? Subs and downs. So um, who is, no, nah, fuck that. PA, born and raised? Raised. I was born in Florida. You was born in Florida. Yeah. It's probably where the light skin shit come from. Is that where it comes from? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> the two months I was like, there. Because I'm like, PA, it's gritty down there. It is gr it's grimy in PA. Come on, though. But, um, yeah. so you were born in Florida. Yeah. Raised in PA. Have a lot of California living. Ties in LA. Come ties on. in Tennessee. Ties in PA. So t take us through that. Like, Oh man. Born and then PA. What's up? Uh, my parents met in Florida. They had me in Florida. Uh, my dad, obviously, you know, he's into film. Yeah. He graduated with a film degree. Uh, so he wanted to obviously set up shop in LA. Okay. So that's where they went. Um, we, was, we was there in 96, 97. Um, then they split. Me and my mom came back on the east side where her family's at. Mm -hmm. uh, we stayed in Knoxville, Tennessee for a while. And then she got cancer. We had to move closer to the family, so we went to PA. And that's where we stayed. And through this time, mm -hmm. when does the music come in for you? Not or does late. it? Not till late, man. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I never really had a th I was a big sports guy, just yeah. like you were. Uh, I never really had a – I always loved music, just like everybody else. So I got on a surface scale. Mm -hmm. uh, but – you know, I was I just went through some things around like 19, I would say 18, that just like really changed how I viewed music in okay. general. And I like made a song, and I was like, I like it was like six hours that went by, and I it, it was just so therapeutic to me. I was like, damn, like this is actually I've really never done something for six right. Hours. I was like, this is really fun, yeah. uh, and that's really how it started. And then I started getting like serious into it, and then my dad in my ear about like what we can do with it, this and that, and I was like. I don't got shit else going on for real, for real, you know okay. what I mean? Like, I, I left college, I wasn't really, I was just working. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, I feel like I wasn't born to work forever. Like, there's right. no way I could do this forever, like a nine Facts. to five, so. Uh, pff, man, that shit is whack. Um, so I was like, fuck it, like, let's go a little harder. And it took me a couple years to drop, but like, I wanted to make, sh like, I'm glad I ain't dropped <laughs> the yeah. shit that I was making more, the first couple years. Ah, uh, just it just sounded like shit. <laughs> like it was just yeah. bad. Um, my shit sounded like shit the first couple ones. You know I what I mean? So like, yeah, I def it, it takes time to find your sound. You can't really r rush that. Mm -mm. Um, so yeah, it took me a couple years, and I dropped about 2020. That was the first time you dropped a single or a project. I dropped two songs at once called Switch Hitter. Switch Hitters was your first song ever. It was a it was a two two it was like a two song. EP. I thought Freak was your first song. Nah, Freak my biggest song. Got you. But uh, okay. nah, See, I dropped, a, I dropped two songs, Switch Hitter, and I was giving off the impression like I can sing and rap. <laughs> you can. Um, I know. That's what I was trying to give the notion. Um, but not all at once. <laughs> yeah, we you working on now. that. We working on yeah, that. Oh, you yeah. Can now, I mean, but yeah, but. But uh, that was not like, at the time. I'm trying to do both now. <laughs> not at a time. Don't go listen to Switch Hitter. I appreciate if we just keep that one tucked. So, what is some an early, intro song? Some early vibes. If they want to come intro. I First mean, time ever listening. It depends really what in you're in the mood for. You uh -huh. know, that's that's one thing that um, I pride myself on is not making the same sounds all the time. All the time yeah. um, it really just depends on my mood. Like I don't go in the studio and 
have a plan. You know, mm. I've, I've sat with people in the studio and they're like, we got to do this, we got to do this. What vibe are you going for? What beat do you want to use? I'm like, bro, like, I don't even know. Like, I right. walk in there empty handed. Like, I walk in there and I scroll through beats and whatever's hitting for me that day is, is what we're on. I, like, there's so no. So you go in as an empty canvas? Oh, for sure. I think you have to. Like, I don't like the planning shit. I don't like planning things. And, you just plan and to go it. to the studio. Oh, I plan <laughs> to get there and that, and that's, that shit check out. that box and we're good for the day, you know? That's it. So. Sometimes you go in there and bullshit for an hour and can't nothing comes from it, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of times you'll, I'll get something down at least, get something written at least, bare minimum, get something written. When did you fall in love with that part? I think like right away. I just never understood that love for it though. Mm. So I never got to really appreciate it. When I came here, I appreciated. it. Wow. Yeah. So moving to Cleveland. Yeah, when I get unlimited time. Yeah. I mean, I put 50, 50 hours a week into this studio shit. Right. You know what I mean? Easily. Like, easily. So how many... But it's not always about a song or how many songs you make. It's about the it's, right feel. Yeah. Like I said, like, I'll scroll through. I can scroll through two beats and find one and work on that for eight hours. Or I could scroll through 50 beats and not find a thing. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, like I said, it's there's no plan. There's no rhyme. There's no rhythm to my, my process in there. It's just, it's just going, getting there mm -hmm. and figuring it out from there. And that's worked so far. So let's talk about sports for a second because we both athletes. <laughs> yeah. uh, what did you play? I played football. I played basketball, but not for school. And I ran track, played baseball. So football was your thing? Football, yeah. <laughs> what was your position? How would you rate yourself as a high school athlete? Um, I was a quarterback. We can go yeah, for sure. You should. Um, <laughs> I was a cornerback and like return man, but cornerback. Uh -huh. uh, I was definitely top three in my county, at least. Okay. Um, but, you know, state level, I was still top 10, I think. Um, Did you love it? I love football. I still do. Sometimes I, some, sometimes I still wonder. Because I was like that. I don't like. Oh, I, don't, you, I, don't care, I don't care what nobody says. There you go, Ramon. I was, I was I like was that. I was waiting on something. I was yeah, like. Yeah, I was like that. Because I'm always saying that. I was like, because I was. Yeah. Don't for sure. Hey, I'll check my stats. I was like that. For, for sure. Real. I should have. I should have played receiver for real, for real. Because. Really. Man, what? I don't know someone. You ain't got that no could, hands. I don't know. So, what? I don't know someone that could cover you probably me. Probably do real. three moves. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about now. These knees a little, a little different. I might have to do some stretches, but. I mean, back What's in the day, man. What's something you took from football? Because that's a big, I mean, that takes, I, I take, I took so much from that game. So like, Yeah, uh, that correlates to like this? Yeah, to you, to your life. I'm trying to, to we're trying to get to know you. Universal things, dedication, understanding like that if you love something, you have to nurture it. You have to love it. You mm. know what I mean? You have to, you have to grind on it no matter what it is. Um, that's like obviously the base. It's like a one on one thing with football, but um I learned about friendship, brotherhood, you know, things of that nature that, you know, there can be a collective of people that can work on one goal yeah. together. Um and that's not something I saw until I came here. And like wow. now we got a team, we got people doing this, like scheduling, you know, I'm not like really into all of the other like all that outside stuff, but like it's 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 cool to, it's noted. Mm -hmm. I, I see it. For sure. Um, it's helping you grow? Absolutely. I think it keeps me on track. That's yeah. what I, I mean, I feel like at times, like, I'm too much of an artist, and I need that. You just go do something. Yeah, like, yeah. I need Rye to be, like, posed like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or I need you to be, like, be here at this time so right. we can do this. Because I don't know any better. Like, I'll, I'll just pull up and wing it most of the time. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, yeah. The collective is, is something that definitely, um, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. So, so. Getting out of high school, but you had a love that you didn't continue to play at. Yeah. And then music kind of becomes that love again, that second love, that love. What were some of them first moments for you that kind of took you, like you said, the six hours where you made your first song? Like, what were some mm -hmm. other moments? Um, I was living in LA, man, so it was vibes. It was, it was a lot of when vibes. When did you get to L.A.? That's when I started music, like 18, what? 19. Okay, so 18, 19, you moved to L.A.? Mm-hmm. With your father? 
No, nah, he was already out there. Wow, so you move out there because you want to. Yeah. Fire. Because I wasn't, I mean, like like I said, man, I dropped out. I dropped out of college. I got suspended, but I just didn't end up going back. Mm -hmm. And I was just working, and I was like, this shit cannot be forever. Yeah. Like, there's no way, like. I'm just, I'll go crazy. Like, yeah. There's no way I could just sit here and, and work for the man all day, every day. And I knew that early, like at a young age, I was like, I don't, I'll be seeing people working my sh like shifts that are like 50 and I'm yeah. like, how? You're crazy, bro. Yeah. I'll do a lot of other things. Um, so I was like, fuck it, like I'll move to LA, do some things, I, I was I was doing some things out there. Okay. And uh, So what was your first kind of experiences in LA? Well, I, I was, I've lived in LA every summer of my life. There it goes. We're getting to the. I'm trying yeah. to get it out of him. Yeah. All right, because I know this stuff, yeah. but he knows I know this so, stuff, so he don't say it. But y'all don't know this stuff yet. Yeah, it wasn't my first time in LA. Not even close. So, um, I even moved out there my junior year of high school and played ball out there. Come on now, talk yeah. to us. So LA is a obvious, impactful place for it's you. It's the best city in why in my life at least. Why? I've never been. Oh a man, lot of those, you've never been. Get your life together and go. It's the be the people are nicer. Everyone's a lot cooler. The weather's good. Like until it's a fire and you can't put it out. Yeah. that's different. That's the only thing I hear about LA. Yeah, but like who going around starting fires? Like <laughs> that's what we said. It just like be ain't got no the, water? Fi the fires just be happening. And it started the fire. It's not like I'm walking. What around are we gonna like, do? Yeah, so I mean, like there was no fire where I was at. Um, ever. ever. I've never seen a fire, no. Wow. There, there's so just like, there's just like one like? big one like every like five a, years. It's either like gang banging or like you're going to nah, see Beyonce even, walking down the street. Nah. Like, I mean, low key. You not, know? Not Beyonce. Yeah, you're not going to see her. <laughs> you're not going to see her. No, That's no, one no. person you probably won't see, but you'll see like a lot. I mean, it's bad regular out there for sure. Wow. Like, you walk down Melrose and like the picture on uh, Switch Hitter uh -huh. for my cover art. There it goes. It's me on Melrose. Come on now, because it influenced you somehow. Yeah, it's actually a really cool picture. It's like one of my favorites to this day. Um, but yeah, it's just a different vibe. The the women are, it's just, just everything's elevated. Everything. Who hurt you? Who a lot hurt of me? your music. My, it's it subjective. Comes from somewhere. It's subjective though. Like my music doesn't always have to be about my life. That's fact, but you still got to be able to tap so into it's it. It's very. I'm very observant as a person. Okay. So but I can write. I can write about. None of them. Oh, some of it's about me for sure. <laughs> a lot right of then. A lot of it's about me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Nobody. It's like we hurting each other. But why? Like toxic, right? So, come on now. <laughs> it's toxic. We're, 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 it's a we're talking about sword. Eastgate. Give them, yeah. this is the first project, the first, first project you ever put out mm -hmm. after the singles, because we're not big singles people here, people. We are album project people because it's a moment in time in your life. Correct, it's a collective. That you can never do again, but you always can revisit. Yeah, you can't get it back, but you can talk about it. Come on, so talk to us. What is that, what is that project called again? Daydreams on Eastgate, which I used to live on Eastgate, so it was like- In LA, right? No, nah, this was in PA. I always thought that picture was an L.A. picture. Nah. I, I always thought. Hell no. <laughs> Go I, ahead. I, should, I wish. No, nah, I moved back by then. I was there. That was like when I moved back and I was like, I'm still going to make music. Like, I'd, I, I had to get so up LA out of L.A. So L.A. birthed it. Not and that, but yeah, music in No, general. music, yeah. Sure. L.A. birthed music. For sure. But you took it with you back to PA. Yeah, it's like the one thing I've never, like, I didn't get tired of and left wow. in my life. Wow. Why'd you leave L.A.? Um, a lot of shit going on. Yeah, boy got in a little trouble. Had to get up out of there. You see, he light skin. <laughs> oh, it's not no light skin shit. No, that's why. That's why. Yeah, I know. I had to get up out of there. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. This boy light skin. The way he talking about it, it's like this nigga didn't. Can't, Never mind. Can't we don't care. Yeah, <laughs> can't incriminate myself. Hey, you... Right. Is a wire. Man? It is actually a wire. Right. You are doing the interview. Right. Facts. Right. <laughs> but acting um, like Vlad out here, man. But um, okay, so daydreams on Eastgate, take mm -hmm. it to that mindset. You move back to PA. Yeah, um, and it was just like a constant battle with. Uh, I was with someone for a real long time, mm -hmm. and we were really good friends before then. Real shit. So like, just the relationship, regardless of if it's friendship or an actual relationship, the situationship that we mm -hmm. had, it was just we were just in so deep, and um. I felt a constant need to like 
what life was I going to live? Because yeah. like artistry where I'm from is not really a thing that is a common concept to people. Right. It's kind of like if you, you got like, it's just like real basic. Like you're either doing construction wow, or you're going to college and then coming out and working for 60, 70 grand a, a year right. and you're getting married probably right away and you're having right. to, like, it's automatic settle down. And I wasn't ready for either one of those. Right. Um, not even close. So, you know, I felt a constant need to be this man that I wouldn't make me happy mm -hmm. or this life that I was like trying to pursue while all these outside influences are like trying to negate that. Really? Yeah. So Support wasn't there? Fork in the road. So that that's they like. They don't know that song. Oh, yeah. So that's on Dejan's yeah, on Yeah, you be Gate. talking to me like we not. Yeah, so <laughs> that's on Dejan's East Gate, too. The whole, the whole tape is about, is just about that time in my life where, like, I was just being pulled yeah. back and forth on, you know, who wh you what life do I want to live? Because, like, I love Shorty. I want to give her what she wants. But it's also at the same time, like, I love myself. Like, mm -hmm. I want to I, I actually be happy with mm -hmm. myself. I, I never want to look back and be like, damn. Should have did that. Should have should have did this. Yeah. And never did it. Just because of, of somebody. It wasn't even necessarily her. like she deserves it. So yeah. it's like, if she didn't deserve it, I wouldn't even try. give a shit about right. <laughs> making that person happy. You know right. what I mean? But like she did deserve it. So it's like, as the man that she's been with, I feel the need to be that, mm -hmm. no matter what. Um, but it's very conflicting with being an artist and she was supportive and you know this and that like she she was great she never got in the way of it but it was like an inner battle mm -hmm. with me that I just knew like you know what I mean like it just wasn't going to end exactly ideal like you know how did you kind of had to pick one put it in the music though because that's hard to translate yeah uh not going to a therapist would be that a starter do it. That might do um it. you know men don't really get to talk a lot about yeah. you know what what be going on inside of us yeah which is a lot because, yeah. you know, the world asks a lot of a man, you know. Real um, shit. And if you can't do that, then you ain't shit. Like, you're, li you're literally scum. Crawl up in a hole yeah, and Yeah, like, you're, you're nothing, if you, can't, you're nothing if you can't get some shit done. So, uh, I didn't want to be an ain't shit nigga. So. Right. Either way I looked at it, I was going to take an L. Somewhere. Oh, for sure. So. How'd you turn into a lesson, though? Uh, because I, like... I wasn't channeling it all into the music. I was actually, I was straying away from the music, honestly, and like That's fighting my demons shit. on my own time with, with like just going out all the time mm -hmm. or drinking or smoking or doing anything to like get away from it. Not try to talk about it, you know? Mm -hmm. But it was getting and, uh, away from your purpose, from what you really Correct, which is love. in turn making me more sad. Yeah. Internally, like my oh, soul, my man. soul. Yeah, so like. I'm just, I'm fucking myself over for like, uh, you know, a good year, like 2021. Wow. Was just like a real dark year. And I, that's what talks is about. Like I was being real, not like, not like emotionally toxic and to like towards whoever I was fucking with or like, it was none it's of that. Yourself. It was, yeah, it was just like, I wasn't being fair to the people in my life. Right. You know what I mean? I was going through all this shit, but I was handling it my way and that way was fine. Yeah. But it wasn't, it was affecting other people. So it was like, you know, I did some dirt that, you know, you can't scrub off. Right. And you so, guys just live with. Yeah. And I lived with it for a while and then it that all was. caught up to me. So what that happened? What happened then? Like um, when it caught up to you, like in your life, what, what was happening? I was getting better actually. Wow. Right. Isn't right. that some bullshit? Always is. Isn't that some, that's some real shit though. Always is some bullshit. But, um. How? How yeah. are you getting better? I was just dealing with it. I was making music more. There it goes. I started making Daydreams on Eastgate. Okay. Talking about all the shit that I just did or went through went or through. shit like that. And, and things came to light that, you know, people didn't see to, to like, obviously. I don't blame them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it was just like a, a divine interference, in my Fork opinion. Fork in the road, right? Fork in the road. So. I had to pick one. And what did you choose? And I wouldn't pick. I didn't. Someone did for me. Something wow. did for me. Divine. Divine interference. And then you, so would you say Ohio, would you say Cleveland was your getaway? Yeah, for sure. 
was your but was I was like your... I was like I dealt with that for a while like I didn't just up and leave to Cleveland no, no, no. right after so like I was like year. I was still there yeah I was there for like another year but sometimes making music you need I dropped daydreams move. you know how did in they, that year how did they like how did the people respond because you have dropped freak you have dropped other records yeah they like that they like toxics they like freaks like when I like really start getting in my bag about, like not in my bag like sad but like speaking someone on a higher consciousness level like because you know it's easy to make a freak you know right that shit's easy to me right. i like barely wrote freak me and my boy made it in the living room in like 20 minutes damn it's not th those songs aren't hard but that's what that's what goes hard for all these people mm -hmm. so i gotta balance it out with those things because i like making both sides of that spectrum i like mm -hmm. making that I, I, I like making a club here but i also like making like music where i'm like talking about like i think the biggest achievement you can do as an artist is talk about like yourself like yeah N none of my bars are materialistic like except that bends I, I just got that though <laughs> i had to drop a couple in there i had to drop a couple in there my boy got that the bends though yeah that wasn't on uh that'll but be on shame that's on shameless yeah. so we'll like, talk about shameless it's out and now. i'm i'm, I, I'm stepping i'm stepping on this one so like i was talking a little bit more shit on this one for sure um but yeah i never i never found that like to be like, it's just, like, I've seen people in my city rap about shit that they don't got. Like, yeah. like you live in my neighborhood. You're talking about doing this and that. I'm like, Relax. I see how you pull up. Right. Like, I see you every day. Right. I just would rather not say it before yeah. I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to sit here and try to do all this rah-rah shit that I'm, that I'm so, not doing. So, do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself? Fuck that. I'm going to get to that later. I want to talk about this gap between Eastgate and shameless and what changed for you as an artist as a person i just got time i had a lot of time to myself i moved out here and with nobody you know what i mean like i just met everyone pretty much since august like, yeah there's a lot of alone time yeah a lot especially i mean you see how i work like most likely i'm alone back there yeah. most likely and I like it like that. It's not like I can close my eyes and be who I want to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's something that I work on. Um, but yeah, I just had time to reflect. I got past things that I've done, things that I've said. Um, I've gotten past other people, what they've done mm -hmm. and what they've said to me. Mm -hmm. It's not only about me being shameless. That's tough too. Like it's like it's like y'all like there's people shameless too. Like you were shameless Come when you did now. this. You were shameless when you said this to me. I like, want to admit that. I wouldn't even have found out if I didn't find out. You know what I mean? So Come it's like, on. That shit is how I think about certain things. So it's how like, do you forgive? How do you forgive those people that do that? I forget. You forget the person, or you forget that moment? I just forget them. I Look. I just can't do it. Out of it. sight of I'm mind. I'm liable Out to of trip. Sight, I'm liable to trip. I'm liable to trip. I might as well just get up off all of that other shit because I'm liable. Yeah. And then you're going to say I'm tripping. I'm not tripping though. Right. Everyone wants to talk about how you act and no one wants to talk about how, what provoked you. What, come on now. We ain't going to have therapy in here. But we is though. All right? Men need therapy too, god damn it. I'm good on that shit. We go through a lot, but you put the therapy in the music. Yeah. So shameless. Um, the new project that's out now go get that um talk about the cover art talk about kind of you spoke on specifically how you were being toxic to yourself in eastgate but yeah, also you couldn't forgive go ahead yeah i mean it was i was just i was just i, I was just toxic to like me me and Nah, like, I wasn't taught, like, I have very few problems with my bros, yeah. with my people. It's more so relationships. Yeah. It's more so, because I'm passionate, man. Like, I'm not going to, like, if you, if you rub me the wrong way, like, you don't know. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to go crazy. Facts. But, like, you're going to know. You're going to know. You're going to know my <laughs> buttons, which in turn you could use later. So, it's yep. like, a, it's a lose-lose at the end of the day. Um, and that's what happens after, you know, years and years of being with somebody or, yeah. or you know, whatever situation I had going on. Um, so it's kind of like you look at someone and you're just like, you know, I don't like that. Like, whatever it is, you know, I don't like it. So yeah. like, so why keep doing it? And that just like, and then you think about it, like, I know they know I don't like it. Yeah. 
and they st- it still happens. Then it's like a respect thing. It it's just like, gets like real annoying. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I know, like, I, I know you know. So, you know, I was just being toxic in ways where I was just being spiteful mm. in, my a- in my actions. You wasn't petty. I wasn't petty, nah. Good. I'm I just good. couldn't let I'm things go. I'm a little go. petty. I couldn't let things go. There were things from the past that weren't happening at the time. And with this time now that you've been able to spend with yourself and reflect and all, you've been able to get past some of those things? Or I, got, at least I was able to get past, I was not, not so much. I was able to get past like my dirt mm. and things that I did that weren't. Oh, you still say fuck the people who did you dirty, huh? I do too. Yeah, oh yeah, they could kick rocks. I don't Man. really care about them. Never cared about me, so. I mean, clearly. I'm, I could be, I, like, I'll hit that switch in me real quick. I don't really care about them people. Um, but yeah, it was more, it was more so just it, me just getting past feeling guilty for the things that I've done mm-hmm. in the shadows mm-hmm. that never came to light. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I was drinking to handle it. So mm-hmm. I'm drinking now, but <laughs> I handled it. We're though. not going to act like we ain't caught. It's it. a Friday <laughs> night. What you want from me, man? It's Fact. been a long week at work. I bust my ass too much. Really I shit. get a drink when I want to. So performing. Have you been able to get on stages? Have you had yeah, that Yeah, we about chance? to. I'm about to have my first uh, chance on stage in Baltimore. And what and what is that experience? What do you think that experience is going to take? Is going to is going to give I think you? it's going to be real awkward. So? But I'm just going to like not care. Yeah. I'm just going to do it. Are you nervous? Mm-mm. I don't I pro- I don't it's hard for me to get nervous. Like yeah. I hate to sound like that nigga but like I'm not a butterfly in the stomach type of guy. I don't know why, Okay. but we'll see how I act like when I'm like holding the mic in my hand, you know what I mean? And like, the songs that are playing. And the, and the curtains like closed in front of me, like we'll see, we'll see how I act then, but um. They gonna open it up and close it right back yeah, down. Yeah, I'm like excited to go right now, for sure. So where are you at as an artist right now? The best I've been, best I sound. I mean, all these years of doing music and I can keep progressing. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's always a good sign. And that's something that I look back on and it helped me. Yeah. Because I don't sound like I did on Eastgate. And Eastgate don't sound like I did on Freak. And Freak don't sound like I did on Switch Hitter. And that's what and you And Switch Hitter don't sound like the old, old shit. That shit didn't even. Make it. That shit, <laughs> that shit collecting cobwebs in the, in the vault. <laughs> and it forever will stay in there. How many songs do you have? Like total? Yeah. Oh, man, bro. Like 300. So why do you only put out. Cause I'm not gonna size. pull out bullshit. But why five songs, six songs? Cause they're good. Okay, so you. I pick from like I pick from like twenty. Right. Like since I've been here, I made like fifty, sixty songs. Wow. The twenty were new. Yeah. I I I'd made like fifteen since the top of the year. Wow. Everything on this tape was made on the top of the year. So this is all fresh material. Besides Change With Me. Yeah. Change With Me was old. Not old, but like last year. Mm-hmm. Roxy was like. So how did Roxy these, was probably like December, actually. But the rest was all January. How did these stand out out of 20? Out of I just know. I just know. I got a good ear. Mm. I just know. And it does, it's, you, that's with anyone's music. Mm-hmm. I've heard other people's music, and I'm like. That's, That's not, not it. it. <laughs> or I'm like, that shit cold. Like, uh, Alana took me to the studio the other, the other Shout week. Shout out Alana 4K. Yes, sir. She did the uh, she did the cover art for Shameless too. Yeah, she did. Shout out to Fire. Alana 4K and 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 Jordan Massim for putting the touches on it. Facts, facts. Um, facts. but yeah, she took me to a studio. Uh, and there was a couple rappers that are like known around the city that were there, mm-hmm. and I was hearing their shit, and I'm like, damn, like, this shit make me want to not maybe even play my shit in here for real for real like really yeah because it, it's real touched up it's clean the producer that we went to was like cleaned all their shit up so mm-hmm. it was like an in-house play and i'm bringing some shit that i i touched up back there that like i'm you know like i, I could do my best with like you know did you play it no nah, i didn't really have a chance to anyways right. but it was cool just to see like what else is going on in this city man there's a lot of talent out here for sure do you want to collab i'm always down to collab do you have anybody that you've seen so far that you could say? Because you know we could get them. If you say their name right here, we could get them. Um, I'm real. I'm real in deep with Z's right now. Okay. We have a bunch of songs. 
We'll probably drop a tape. Shout That'll out probably to be him. next. Yeah, shout out to Z's. Uh, we got real good chemistry. That's good. I made a song with a few other people. I'm about to get in, this, uh, in the lab with uh, Alila here soon. Come on now, D- Miss Divine. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> got to. Shout out to Alila. She She's dope. Dope. She's real dope. Super dope. She just sent me some stuff the other day that was like, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm a need this. That's like, send, send the send the MP3. Um, so how do you yeah. feel about the industry? Because you're in the music industry. How do you? Feel the industry about? here, or just the industry. The industry in general. You've been to LA. You've seen you've seen different markets. Like, how do you feel about the industry? It's a great question. I know. That is that is a, it's a it's a win it's a long winded qu- uh, answer. Oh, there you go. Come on, Are we here but, to um, talk today, cat. Hello. I'm not into. Uh, I'm very organic. Yeah. And the game is very not organic. Nope. It's forceful. Yeah. Um, and like, I just don't like people. Mm-hmm. Um, in general, but then like. Like it's a lot of forceful relationships. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of, it's a lot of. Um, I don't know how to explain it, man. I just like, it's just like not me. It's mm-hmm. not like you know I'm, I'm not a Hollywood guy. Um, if I didn't, if I couldn't see myself being good at it, I probably wouldn't be Type with shit. these people. Right. Um, there's a lot of good people and like don't get me right. wrong like I let me not let me no, not say that. like fuck you know, that fuck that you can't no, put them all in the same say boat say the real but, like, shit though i understand cuz shout just out not to with my dog shit. my dog said something shit. in the interview that i was like damn but it's like facts he was like nigga we wouldn't know each other if we didn't do what we do and i'm like yeah. that's facts but yeah. that don't mean we bad people or nah, we don't fuck sure. with each there's other there's definitely some good people 100% genuine good people filled with light yeah you know um but how do you it's just the fake it? shit how do you weed can't. through it um i don't give anyone the benefit of the doubt anymore mm. i just like if if you want to be around and be around yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like give everyone the route to be here right you're gonna ask for the route if you want to be here multiple times yeah you know what if i mean you need so, like, to you're just gonna have to earn it from me, as I okay. expect to earn it from you. Right. Because uh, that other shit will get you hurt. And like I said earlier, I'm liable to trip. <laughs> and I don't, Quickly. I don't like. Quickly. It'll all be easier if we, if we uh. Johnny you know. Magic in the building. Yes, sir. Well, so man, yellow Johnny spot. Magic. Since since the yellow spot, <laughs> extraordinaire <laughs> that's editor. Your, that's your favorite shit, isn't it, Johnny? Oh, sure. I love doing the yellow spot. What? How do you feel about that that moment you had in the yellow spot and what it did for you? Um, I think like everything I do, I started slow and then I got I got um progressively better as I did it. Yeah. Did it did it make you come out your comfort zone? Yeah. Yeah. And it, and it takes me a little bit. Yeah. I have to do it one time and I have to like feel the vibes. Yeah. And the next time I come back, as you saw, it was a lot smoother, a lot right. easier, a lot better. I could feel myself a little more. Right. And then after that, you know, it was we, like the video we just shot the other night was Damn near all gas, no brakes. Oh my you know God. what I mean? That was it, it was dope. Sweezy. Shout out to Sweezy Films. Yeah, Sweezy. Even though he couldn't be here because he wanted to shoot a movie. Shout out to AWIC. That boy hey, is different. Y'all boys is winning over there. I appreciate y'all. Sweezy, you already know what it is, man. Yes, Much sir. Love with all of that. I give Sweezy his flowers every time he walks in. Man, here. every time. Every time. He's tough with it. So, yeah, he made me feel at home, obviously. Rise. Great. Yeah. She does her she does her job insanely well. I lean on her when I need to. One of the best photographers in the city. Oh, for sure. Her, her and Lana, I don't, like, I, like with respect to who I haven't met yet, like, yeah. I don't even need to meet nobody else for photography. Like, I'm, I'm straight on Ryan and Lana 4K, I'm telling you. They're cold with it, so. So tell me, and I'm going to get you out of here. Tell me what you want from all of this. Because you're going, you went through a lot in this, yeah. in this trials and tribulations. It was never for me. It never will be. It's... You know, like I feel like where where we could take it is somewhere where like my mom can retire. Yeah. 
something like that. Or like my grandma could see me successful before she goes. So like, I can live up to like what my dad always saw in me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm just, I'm just the, I'm just the sacrifice for it. You know, it's, it's for everyone yeah, around cool. me. I, I, I get off on seeing my people eat. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite shit. It's when never, did you it's never that? about me. I don't even know, for real, for real. I think I've always had that. Like I've always liked seeing my people succeed, and it feels even better when it can come off of your victory. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, I do it for everyone around me. Music-wise, where do you see yourself? Uh, man, you know this shit happens so fast nowadays. Like, who knows? I just know that I want to go as far as I can take it. There's no point to do this if I want to be second yeah you know like i trust in myself i believe in my my abilities with whether it's my work ethic or my sound or how i can change things mm -hmm. or how i can feel things dedicated yeah um i just i have the utmost confidence in myself who's some of your influences um man i'm not gonna say Pac or biggie Okay. Just because, I mean, like, you know, I, I just feel like it's kind of cliche for one. Oh. For two, I feel like a lot of people that say it, like, you was born in 99, my man. Like, you wasn't even here. That's like saying, like, oh. I hate when someone that's, like, 21 is, like, Michael's the best of all time. And I was like, because you watched you it on you. You don't know that, like, you don't know the that. feeling, like, when yeah. he was really yeah. rocking like you gotta know arenas, that part of it, you know what I mean? You like, gotta know that part of it. You had to be here in 95 when Biggie was talking all that shit and got shot that night, you yeah. know? Like, you had to be here to feel those things. Like, it's just like, I, what I, my, I grew up on it because my mom is such a hip hop head and my dad, I mean, we were in LA. Like, Biggie got shot like a block away from where I lived. Wow. My mom said she heard the gunshots. That's crazy. Yeah, so um, my mom is big into that. She's, she, she's from New York, like, soup i mean where hip-hop was founded you know yeah um and from. yeah my dad yeah you know yeah. so i grew up on that music it just it just never moved me like kanye moved me yeah there like you j go. cole or drake or like even like trippy like really certain people are like it's it's all about sonics mm -hmm. to me like it's all about how it hits your ear like i don't really give a fuck who you are it, it just matters how you sound you got to say some things too but like to influence me, like, it, it, you have to give me goosebumps on a song. Like, you have to, like, I'd so be like, it, that's how you make a song. Like, so is it bars included? Is it melody? It depends melody? on the mood. Like, did like you grow Kendrick's up? one of the greatest, but I'm not, like, bumping Kendrick every day. Right. I got to be in the right head state. Sp Can you space go bar for bar? Well, Kendrick? Yeah. No. I'm not saying you have to beat him. I'm <laughs> not saying, even can, close. Can you, can you spit? Yeah, I can spit. I go bar for bar with anybody that is around here. Ooh. Bar for bar? Ooh. We talking about We talking about We talking about We talking about 16? Yeah. We talking about 16? Yeah. I go bar for bar with anybody. There you go. 100%. Don't exclude Kendrick, he can get it too. <laughs> Mr. Morale. I don't know. That that Come on. That boy is annoying. Right, look, Charlemagne right. can get it. We can sit here and go word for word. Look, I can yeah. put the better interview together. Talk for sure. To him. For sure. Give me enough time. He we be getting like two, three. We hours. talk about a different beast, though. Kendrick is Kendrick like has a. I don't know, man. He's a little Kendrick annoying. He's anointed somewhere. with a higher power, man. Somewhere. He started that boy's somewhere. Different. Though. Are you heard Rick and Mortis? Yes. Man, what? So that's one of your influences. What? Yeah. Bars wise, yeah, I'd say Kendrick in there okay. for sure. Um, I mean, I, gr Cole, I grew up on Drake. Kendrick. I grew up on Drake. Right. I grew up on Cole. I grew up early Kanye. No one's fucking with that man. I don't care how. Like what y'all got to say, Kanye? Kanye is right like now. top three greatest of all time, like in stone. He's on the the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Like college, like college dropouts, 808s and Heartbreak is is one of the best albums of all time of is all music. Really? I don't agree. I Devil, think graduation Devil is a, better. And I think college dropouts. I mean, those are you could second. argue that, but like, bro. But just like everything. Sonically. He changed the game. 
Well, every anyway, every album was is? different. Every what album changed is? the game. He changed the game every time he hit the album. Oh, we about to get into our little arguments in a second. <laughs> every album, he changed the game again. And then he dropped some other shit, and people were like, what the fuck is this? Is changes that, the game. Is that something you want to do in your career? I mean, career? I wouldn't say it's drastic. But for your fan but who base, knows, for, your, like, for what you want to do. You start you start living a different life when you get to those those heights, you know? So you, you start get, seeing you different get things. Signed? Yeah, I'm gonna get signed. You're gonna get signed. Yeah. So you likely. wanna work with the major label? Not forever. But what do you think the benefits of that is? Push. Push the name, you, your likeness, all of those things. Yeah. Get you in different markets and stuff like yeah. that. I'm not signing so no, I'm not signing no three sixty. You're thinking about it logically of not the I don't care about the, the money. The front okay. So what do you care about? The push. The the push in the relationships? Do you I not be, care about you, them? Once I get my foot in the door, I handle all that. I'll handle the relationships. Oh, okay. I'll do what all that. What type of team do you want to have? A good one. Okay. Um, I see no flaws in the team that I have now. Type shit. I think I think the only thing that I would make better is, you know, budget. <laughs> yeah. Like having like you know. So fifty thousand dollars. You have fifty thousand dollars to put a music video together. Mm -hmm. What is that music video vid video idea? Hmm. It would probably be like a, um, like I always wanted to do a short film mm -hmm. for like the beginning of my album. Yeah, that's hard. Like a 10 minute film, like five minutes maybe. Okay. And it's like, I think I told you about this I, I idea. I um, But it's like me sitting on the bench and I'm looking out, like even at the water, I'm just looking mm -hmm. at the water by myself and it's like slowly zooming in on the back of my, back of my head and uh it keeps like switching back like frame to frame with like an apocalyptic scene mm. of me still sitting there but it's like fire like everything's on fire done yeah and that me going back and the birds are chirping and it's yeah. all sunny and it's nice and it's easy that's fire yeah um so i would do something like that just to become an intro to my music because i think that's a universal feeling that i always feel yeah. with making music i feel like i can find somebody to do that for about five thousand Oh, yeah, God. nah. It, the, something like something like that needs to be. Yes, you could. You could. It just do, needs to be executed. You could do the, the fifty thousand. I could see it. I when you said it, I was like, it's literally like waves, and it's going from one to the other, like on some. Yeah. And he's, but you're in the middle. I love it. It's almost like the uh, <coughs> the Crick, the Big Crick album, back in the day. But anyway, influences. Um, what is some of your What's some of the things you do to stay original? Um, <clears throat> that's like always flowed naturally. I've always had a strong sense of who I want to be, mm -hmm. which and it directly coincides on how I talk about things. I never had to. I never had to like be like, oh, I gotta sound like this. Like mm -hmm. I gotta. Oh, I gotta say these things. Like. I don't got no cap in anything I say. Right. Like, I'd rather just not say it. You know what I mean? Like, er everything I say, I went through, I, I've seen, I've done, I go through. One, one of the four. I think, I think authenticity is very important. <laughs> Only we know how we this far. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's in a, in a game where authenticity is not valued yeah. whatsoever. Um, Real shit. It's also just, you know, breeds another chip on my shoulder. So, if outside of the music, like is there anything else you want to get into, be a part of? Yeah, I think music will be a stepping stone for me just in entertainment eventually. I truly do believe in my ear. I think I got an ear like Rick Rubin. If Ooh. you don't know who Rick Rubin is, Ooh. get your fucking life together. Come on now, talk that get shit. Get your life together. Legend, oh Rubin. Oh my God, dude. Come on now. My dad put me on to Rick Rubin. I've been obsessed ever since. He's, and he's a white boy. Yeah. He's a white dude. With a whole beard. You should see, here. you should hear it. Do you know Rick Rubin? Man. Yeah. Anyone that was big in the 90s, I'm talking big, big. Facts. Rick Rubin. Facts. He found him. Who was this big artist, though? Who was the big, big one though, that he always worked with? Was it, it wasn't Kanye. Nah. It was, it was, was Jay-Z. It was Jay-Z. No, nah, this was before Jay-Z. This was like um, NWA days. Right, 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 right. He started Def Jam. Right, 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 right. So, like, anyone that was signed to Def Jam back, back in the day yeah. came through Rick Rubin. Crazy. And he knows nothing about music. He he has a uh, interview out now where he's talking about it. He's like, I I just believe in my ear. 
I know nothing about music. I'm not a musical guy, this and that. I'm just like, that's fucking crazy, bro. It's crazy who he found. So, like, I can see myself being someone like that to the game, finding talent. I, I feel like I could be, you know, get into acting eventually. Like I said, this is just a stepping, I mean, it's a stepping stone. I say that as this could be a 30-year stepping stone. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm going to leave music. Or I love music. I'm infatuated with it. Yeah. I'm going to the studio after this. Real shit. You know what I mean? And I'm being that bitch till 6 in the morning, per usual. Come on now. You know, so it's something I, I'm obsessed with, and that love probably won't ever die. But I can see myself doing other things. Real shit. Yeah, well, sure. this is the first of many. Um, we've been here. We've been getting it in with my boy, Cat. Uh, before we get out of here, though, Johnny Magic, we got to do one thing, Johnny Magic. Sky too hot, you know we gotta do one thing. Arma, we appreciate you being here, big dog. But we gotta do one thing, all right? What's that? It's called get it off your chest. And that's just whatever you need to get off your chest, whether it's thanking somebody, talking your shit, whether it's I'm coming, whatever you need to get off your chest, you feel like you need to say before we see you again and sit down with you mm -hmm. and kick it with you again. Get that off your chest. I gotta go first? Nigga, it's just you. <laughs> oh, I thought we, we I thought we were included now. No, it is your time, <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Everyone looking at me, I was like, damn. Yeah. Um, shit, get off my be chest. A superstar, watch. Everybody looking at me. Don't link me. If you want to fuck shit. Mm. It's better off we just never cross paths. Yeah. That's all I got to say. And it's the King Thief Network. We out of here. Peace.